Well, hopefully we don't have too many uh, cars driving by. I like getting grounded once in a while. Just sit down or touch the tree or go barefoot or uh, have no shoes on. I think that's important to get grounded in the earth. I did hear some birds chirping, which we don't always have. I try to feed them during the winter, keep them around a little bit. Um, some say chemtrails are not helping the matter any. If you may disagree on that whole topic, but that's I'm no expert in it. I just watch the skies a lot and uh, read what I can. Anyway, I just want to say that sometimes I can be a real brat. I realized that this morning. Um, sometimes a driver or two will, uh, here comes a school bus. Well, perfect timing. Let's let them slide by here real quick. And uh, I say that because I just can kind of be that way sometimes. And I remembered a story that occurred with my mom where I was kind of being like that. And my mom had, we were living in Blair, Nebraska, and my mom came over and she showed me this big cyst on her hand. And she said, the doctor said, you need to slap, hit this with the Bible, or a hardcover book, he recommended a Bible because it's about the right weight. And hit it really hard, the top of her hand, and um, cause it to break or to explode. And I said, and she said, your dad won't do it. And I'd like to see it, you know, it's kind of unsightly and it'd be an easy fix. And so my first reaction was, okay, a Bible? Yeah, I got lots of those. Um, that's, that's what I was thinking in my mind. And I said, what version would you like? <laughs> like I said, I could be a brat. What version Bible would you like me to smack here? Let me get in the light here a little bit. Let me get on the other side, maybe. And uh, she said, uh, I said, well, I guess it needs to be hard cover. I don't think a soft cover would do it. And uh, all of a sudden, all this traffic. Anyway, um, so uh, I said, Mom, maybe we should use the word in a different kind of way. Use the word and speak the word instead of slap your hand, your hand with the word. And uh, I said, I mean, let's pray about it. So I took her upstairs and uh, started praying. And uh, when all was said and done, the cyst was, cyst was just barely there. And I think sometimes God leaves a little mark. Just a little something behind to remind you what he's done. Because too often we move on with life and forget what he's done in our life. And I've seen that a few times where he leaves just a little residual. It's a little reminder. And that's how I take it. But while I was praying for her, something even cooler happened. And she had broken her wrist falling on ice. She caught herself with her hand. Broke her wrist on, on, on the ice years before. And while I was praying for the cyst and God's general healing for her hand, um, I could feel what felt like jumping beans. It felt like there was bones moving around in her wrist. I just felt like little movement, like jumping beans in there. We had jumping beans as a kid. That's an old, old, old person kind of pastime, I guess. And uh, there she was. And uh, and she when she started to move her wrist. She's like, I think I have more. I think I have more uh, more rotation now, more movement than I used to. And I turned my wrist. And a couple weeks later, she called me back and she said, You know what? I can take change now. When I used to go to the, it never healed quite right. When I go to get, receive change from the cashier, I could never use that hand because I could not open my hand far enough. I could not turn my wrist far enough. People put change in my hand, it would just fall out on the floor. And now I can take change and it doesn't fall out at all because I can rotate my wrist far enough. And I haven't been able to do that since, since I broke my wrist and it healed wrong. Cool story. I just thought of that today because I was thinking about how big of a brat I can be sometimes. God bless you all.